first thing I want to do um, is congratulate you on the new album. Thank you. It's another milestone Ooh. that you've reached as a band, and it's uh, inspiring. And Thank you. Um, I was very impressed and stoked on the new single as well, and uh, the music video and everything about it. I think represents Bad Cop, Bad Cop, you know, perfectly. And and thank you. I band. totally agree. <laughs> Cool. None of us are simple girls. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, it it also like you know, just shows who like I don't know. It's a better this album. I feel like is a better representation of who we are. Um, most of everything else have, although say excited and proud of those albums as I am. Yeah. Um, this one was like a real, um, a real, I don't know it was a good way of like understanding who we are yeah, and not just like what we stand for necessarily. Like, yeah, well, I think that's important. You know, fans of music in general, especially punk fans want to have a connection to the bands that they mm -hmm. love. And when you offer yeah. that to your fans, you're offering them something special and you're offering. Yeah. Them. And I feel like Thank bad, you. bad cop has in my mind always stood out as being a band that's very community minded and very, yes. um, approachable and warm and and receptive to the fans which is i think very thank important. you yeah thank you i appreciate that i mean it's just who we are <laughs> yeah and that's i don't that's know fun. like you know we're not all because we play on stage it doesn't make me really any different from anybody else so why um, would i treat I it mean, differently that's a wonderful perspective and it's one that i value a lot as a as a fan of music as a as a fan of your band and as a fan of you know, art in general, yeah. and I think creative people are essentially the same in yeah. many, many regards, but there's, there can be these barriers, and sometimes Sure, people, like, you know, we definitely have our boundaries, you know what yeah. I mean, but oh, like, yeah. but like, as any person would, like, if you put yourself in their, their shoes, and they're saying they're uncomfortable with it, it's like, okay, then yeah. you have, understand, like, if you were doing this, would you want somebody to constantly hit you in the face with a microphone, because right. they keep running into you? No. It yeah. sucks. <laughs> yeah. There's, I appreciate yeah. the enthusiasm, but geez, man, like mm -hmm. <laughs> that, sh that shit sucks. Sorry. I'm, I'm swearing. No, no, that's okay. That's totally okay. fine. Um, well, I hear what you're saying because human nature comes out in all types of forms in, in our community. And uh, yeah. there's the way I kind of break it down is it all is based on intentions. And if your intentions are sincere yeah. and if you care and show consideration, consideration to whoever yeah whether it's someone there are else other ways yeah there are other ways to show your enthusiasm and your excitement and your support yeah. for bands without it resulting in someone's nose being broken even by accident you know what i mean sure like i get it, it you know and people are like well you know you signed up to be in the pit i get that i get it i get it okay yeah. you want to be aggressive but like and, and I get the aggression because I used to be like that, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't give a, I wouldn't give a shit, but mm -hmm. it's like, there comes to a point where it's like, okay, like, yeah, you can, you can slam dance and everything, but also like try to be conscious of who's around you. Sure. You can do that. Yeah. It's not all blindsided arms yeah. flailing and kicking. Yeah. Yeah. If you didn't want to be kicked, then why would you want to kick something? Like, you know what I mean? Like, if you don't want that to happen to you, then don't do it as somebody. It's as yeah. simple as that. <laughs> yeah, that, that etiquette of moshing is something I've actually thought about a lot because I've, I've, I'm punk rock background, but also like hardcore music, heavy metal. And yeah. Everything. I think a lot of it boils down to ego and, and what are your, what is your goal yeah. in the pit? Are you, is your goal to dominate or is your goal to be a participant? You know, like what's your, what's your intent? I don't know. I don't think all of us understand that mentality. It's not yeah. to say like, I don't like, I can see that. I can understand it in that sense, like having that sense of ego of who's the most, you know, macho in the pit or who can yeah. handle getting hit the most or whatever if that's your thing i mean i'm not here to judge you but sure. at the same time it's like why do you want to mm -hmm. yeah i i kind of i i compare it I just to understand. like kids behavior in a way because kids want attention and they try to seek it in all these different ways sure. and they do it by any, by any means necessary it's kind of like but like I've gone to show, like I've gone to see like Gogol Bordello is like a beautiful example of this. 
and they are rowdy as fuck, you know, but, and they have their pits, you know, mm -hmm. but I've seen them like a few times already. Uh, this is all when I lived in Philadelphia and oh, cool. um, it's pretty much like a giant, like wedding party. Wow. <laughs> like everybody's yeah. arm in arm and they're all jumping yeah, yeah. and it's just like, Good vibe. Awesome. That's the kind of enthusiasm and yeah. like, cause you show camaraderie yeah. with that. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. slam dancing and stuff like that. You just show nothing but aggression, aggression mm. and machismo. Yeah. And like, I don't know. I'll, I'll never understand it. I mean, mm. I, I think I did at some point in time because I was a part of it. Yeah, but yeah. I think I was trying to be a part of it because I wanted to be a part of something. I think it wasn't you, anything you genuine. It. Yeah, people people want to be acknowledged and people want to be included, and sometimes yeah. it's some misguided. I mean, ways, you know, I mean, like I like having the impression that I'm I'm tough, you know. Yeah, yeah. I like having that, you know, because I feel like I am. Yeah. Um, I don't want to be scary to anybody, but you know, sure. like I also don't want to be fucked with either. Yeah. And I'm and I've been really lucky that I haven't. Mm -hmm. You know, I've had my share, I guess. Sure. But um not to the point where it's like you know it becomes an issue mm -hmm. um for me um but i liked knowing that like i could handle it at the time yeah and i got my ass kicked got my ass kicked yeah. <laughs> plenty yeah, yeah. of times but you know it was just yeah you know i'm part in like part of this group you know but now it's like i mean i did roller derby for a little bit and yeah. i was like you know what i I'd, I'd rather play music <laughs> and just have fun going to all this and and then get my butt kicked i I got my butt kicked all the time yeah and it's like not to say i don't support those girls i think For they're sure. all badass i i you know a lot of friends are a part of it mm -hmm. yeah. all are badasses and if you love it you keep fucking loving it and you yeah. keep doing it great yeah. just like being in the pit you know what i mean mm -hmm. like if you fucking love it cool but also acknowledge things yeah. like roller derby you have like i mean those are the moves that's part of the game is to knock sure. each other over sure. um and whether or not someone's ego lets the aggression really you know yeah. go forth you know it's kind of this it's its own version of being in the pit yeah um but i think but also like there's nothing worse than like someone that's just like the narcissist yeah. you know Oh yeah. Like my shit don't stink. And it's like, it kind of does. Everybody's does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, um, I think it's something, uh, it's something to deal with in any community, you know? Yeah, I think so. And it's, know. it is kind of part of a part of human nature, but also I think it's like, it, it shows that person's level of whether they're at peace with themselves or not, like if they have a chip yeah. on their shoulder, if they're, you know, insecure about something and it, it, it comes out in those ways too. Yeah. I mean, there's a, you know, there's being confident, mm -hmm. you need to be confident. That's empowering. You know yes. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But when you're like, when you lose compassion, when you lose empathy, when you, when it's not, when you're, the world has to revolve around you. Yeah. Then you, yeah, that we're crossing into some dangerous territory, you know? Yeah, for sure. Well, I've, I've always found it to be very helpful to be aware of others and to consider others. And I think, well, yeah, you know, because wouldn't you want the same for yourself? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's almost like adding into, you know, the, the ego mm -hmm. a little bit, but in a positive way, you know, like you're still nurturing, you're still taking care of yourself, but being mindful of others. Yeah. Yeah, and you can still achieve the same thing, but being mindful of others, like, you know, it only yeah. helps everything. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You know, um, I'm a big Fred Rogers fan. You know, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. And his, oh yeah. Uh, his approach to life really was so inspiring. Mm -hmm. Just his message of kindness, and I feel I feel like no matter who you are, where you are, what scene you belong to, like being kind is its own reward, and you don't have oh, to yeah. be. You don't have to be a chump in order to be kind. You can just be a sincere right. person and it's still, yeah. you know, you get a good result every time. So. Yeah. And we're going to call your fucking asses out if you're mm -hmm. an asshole. Yeah. Well, and, you know, <laughs> well stop. <laughs> well, We've and, done and it people, before. People can sense it. You know, it's something that yeah. it's innate. Animals sense it too. I mean, animals can sense if someone's aggressive or, uh, you know, coming off in a, a threatening manner, you know. People, yeah people are sensitive to that children are sensitive to that so it's all about you know. your own 
you know, what is, what is your intention? And if it's a positive intention, if it's sincere, then probably yeah. things are going to work out. Well, that was cool. Thanks for, mm -hmm. for sharing. I, th I think that's really, you know, it's kind of like a philosophical point about punk rock that people should consider. I think um, so too. I mean, what, like everybody has their own definition of punk music yeah. or p being punk, right? Mm -hmm. But I think that's the point. For sure. Embracing that individuality, embracing your own thinking of it. Yeah, yeah. But, but to be accepting of other people's idea oh, yeah. of it too. Oh, yeah. Unless it's white power shit. Yeah, well, and that's, not going to tolerate that shit. <laughs> <laughs> and that's and it's obvious that that stuff has a violent and hateful intent. Oh yeah, it has a very hateful message. Whereas it's very things, violent. Yeah, and there's there's things that I might not be into like aesthetically, but I can still totally relate to it as being like, hey, that's creative, yeah. that's art, that's awesome. You know. Yeah. What I, mean? I felt that way about Taylor Swift this past year. Yeah. I hated her for so long, <laughs> for like no reason. You know what? The same thing happened with uh, Haley Williams, Paramore. Oh yeah. Okay. You know, I like Paramore. I love the sound of it. I think her voice is incredible. I was jealous as hell of her though. Mm. Jealous. I was mm -hmm. like, oh, it's just another white girl that has a fantastic voice and gets to be in a band and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And I'm like, why am I hating on her? Like she is incredible. She's an incredible songwriter and singer and person, you know, yeah. I don't know her personally, but from what I'm seeing, you know, I feel like she's a genuine person that's just yeah. like really just doing what they love to do yeah and, and producing meaningful art it's like you know yeah but it. like i you know same thing with taylor swift i watched her documentary mm -hmm. um miss americana i think it is and it was pretty eye-opening to see that to see it was like an I, I don't know exactly how long the time period it was maybe it was a year but it was like basically the making of her last album oh i'd like to check that out it's interesting cool. and i have a newfound respect for her that's um, cool you know but um but yeah i think it's just you know i lost my train of thought i'm sorry well <laughs> what, what i was my my comment to what you're saying is it's it's interesting to consider you know we're we're artists we're musicians and there's all these different levels you know and there's all these different mm -hmm. kind of ecosystems of, of music and taylor swift is like up there, you know, professional yeah. A-list, uh, yeah. you know, made her mark on on this generation in a way that will be remembered in a you know mm -hmm. in a big way, and so I think it's natural for us to kind of question like, Ugh, like how could I really relate to that? But then it yeah. sounds like what you're saying is when you hear her story and you consider her personal story, like it's mm -hmm. like eye opening. So that's, that's yeah, well, because I mean, it's a different perspective that I didn't think about. Yeah, I've always thought of it as just like, you know, I mean despite the obvious being rich and being mm -hmm. privileged and put, but, but also the negatives of being a female artist, yeah, a female musician, even as big as she is, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and you don't think about what they go through. Right. And like, she's standing, like she genuinely stands for the right things, you know? Yeah. I recall her standing, ally. standing up against like mistreatment and abuse and, and yeah. Well, she encouraged. Um, oh my God, was it in Tennessee? She encouraged like she like put out a campaign for people to vote and like awesome. to vote against Trump and everything like that. Yeah. Like, and because of her doing that, it got like a crazy amount of people that got registered to vote. You know, yeah. like that is a positive impact. Oh, for you sure. You can hate her. You can hate her for being taste swift all you want. But you can't deny that that was a huge impact yeah. and in a positive way. Yeah, and using her platform in a way that's like exactly improving. And the it's world. not just like you know, and it's not just about her image. Yeah. Like, oh my God, did you see what she was wearing the other day? Like, yeah. Wow, that's, that's pretty cool. Things. I I think uh, I would be interested to check that out for sure. The documentary. Yeah, it's interesting, you know. And like I said, I have a newfound respect for her. She's awesome. <laughs> That's cool. Well, that leads a little bit into one of the questions I had for you <laughs> regarding like responsibility as someone who is, is like a public figure, you know, your band has an influence and um, has a reach that enables you to make that positive impact. And I feel like your band and you as a person more so than 
what is typical really does strive to create like a positive community and to try to inspire like all the all yeah. the bad cop music videos like the ones i'm thinking of like the the newest one simple girl and uh one mm -hmm. anarchist there's a really palpable feeling of like strength and together oh, hold on one second sure. i got a call coming in that's all good <laughs> i'll pause i will resume yeah so um yeah my my previous question or point was just that uh you know i see that community and making a positive difference through your music and through your message and through uh i think the inspiration that you give to others i think that that seems like a big priority for your band but i i also see that as being a big responsibility and how do you feel about being in that position oh i i love it <laughs> awesome um and there's you know there's nothing more rewarding than seeing that you know a community come together yeah and one that's just like they not only support us but support each other yeah you're seeing your groups of friends like they met because you know come you know meeting for, at our show or something yeah um and they become the best of friends and it's yeah. um yeah there is a lot of responsibility behind it mm -hmm. um i don't think it's it doesn't feel like a, uh, like a chore, right? You know, but you know, of course, any good thing comes with responsibility. For sure. Um, and anything that you're trying to do that's supposed to help everybody, like be inclusive, be, mm -hmm. um, be empowering, be inspirational, mm -hmm. um, uplift. Yeah. You know, have their voices heard too. Yeah. you know be a listener yeah you know um we would you know we want i don't know we just it's it's just an important thing mm -hmm. it's important to us yes but it's just important yeah that's well said you know yeah it, i don't know how else to say it really it's it has nothing to do with I mean, yes, it feels great. Of course it feels great. You're doing something great for somebody else, for a group of people. You know, you're inspiring kids wanting to play music. You're inspiring people, uh, you know, women that have had, that have been in abusive relationships come forward and speak, speak up. You know, you are putting that, you're putting that out there in the world. Of course that feels great, yeah. but it has nothing to do with us. Yeah. This is about encouraging that behavior. Yeah. Encouraging and uplifting the community, you know? Yeah. Well, I think, you know, thanks for saying all those things. I think that's that's very beautiful the way you put it. The thing that I wanted to convey to you as mm -hmm. a, a, as a fan of your band and also just a fan of music is that I think the way that you're living up to that responsibility is the very high quality of everything that you guys do. I know well, that touring is not easy. I know that recording is hard. I know that mm -hmm. you are all very talented musicians and the songwriting in Bad Cop is like cut above and it's extremely <laughs> awesome. But then the Thank cherry you. on top and like the added bonus is not only is it awesome music, not only is the songwriting solid, every member of the band has like an individuality that draws you to the whole band as a unit. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. it's, it's unique. A lot of times we, we're a very socialist band. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say that up front. Like we try, you know, everything is, you know, we make sure that we try to put equal amounts of encouragement and love and work into what we do. You know, that's just the way. No one, one thing we hate is a diva. Yeah. You can like, I, I'm not saying like, you know, not to discredit those that are divas, mm -hmm. but that's just not how we work. Well, that's, that comes across very strongly because uh, each band member has their own, like, I almost envision it like superpowers, I guess, because I've been <laughs> reading, reading a lot of uh, superhero stuff to, with Logan, but each, each member of the band, it's like, you don't want just one of the superheroes. You want all of them. You want the whole um, Justice League. You know, you want everybody. Yeah. And, and oh, thank you. <laughs> well, it's, it's uh, 
it wouldn't be bad cop bad cop without everybody and um you know a lot of bands that i enjoy listening to who i'm huge fans of are primarily driven by like one person's yeah songwriting or one person's sure. contributions but uh, the, to me the true sense of being in the band is is having what you have and you do it thank naturally. you mm -hmm. thank so. you yeah i mean it's not to say that each one of us don't have something awesome to you know yeah separately from the band of course but yeah. um but it's really nice to have all four forces put together and yeah. we're like ooh, what's gonna come out next yeah <laughs> and seeing what what you know well and it's kind of cool. cool shit we can come up with well and i think you've all done a good job of, of kind of letting us peek into your lives and see like what other cool things that you're into i know that uh thanks jenny paints and does awesome artwork I know oh she's just uh, jack of all trades yeah <laughs> and and your own you know skills as a musician as songwriter and everything like Oh, thank you. It's very, I mean, I, I, I interviewed Stacy for the blog like a couple years ago and, mm -hmm. um, you know, was very interested in her story and her songs and stuff. But, you know, you have always stood out to me in the band as someone who, you know, needs to have the shine as well because of what you contribute. And, and like, you're kind of, to me, seem like an anchor in the band as, as far as like, you know, just having that awesome factor and it's like undeniable you know <laughs> oh well thank you that's really nice of you to say oh my goodness um i mean i think we all do a really good job in promoting each other's mm -hmm. work um and sharing each other's um work and whatnot um mm -hmm. you know i i'm not i'll you know fully i the one thing i as far as songwriting is concerned for me those toughest are the lyrics always mm. always i don't know what the hell to say i'm like i'm not even that i'm not even well versed in life anyway so <laughs> um but i love i mean writing melodies mm -hmm. especially the ones that have breakdowns in them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh you know i love spending time trying to create that and like what's so great is that like you know you have Jenny and Stacy and Myra. Myra can hit drums like yeah. A, she's just like a she's powerful, force to be reckoned with. <laughs> powerful drummer and yeah, awesome drummer. Um, but like you know, Jenny is she's incre she's incredibly good at metaphors. Mm. Interesting. Incredibly good. Like it, it's crazy how good it is. Um, but also she's like very, she's very well versed, you know, and like she, her lyrics are so like, they're written in such a way that it's like, they're literally painting a picture. Yeah. Like the way that she writes is literally how she paints. Yeah. That's cool. You know, um, and with Stacy, Stacy's just got so such grit and feeling in her songs, you know what I mean? Like, you could feel like from both of them, you could feel that it's coming from a deep point in their in themselves. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And Stacy also a brilliant, brilliant lyricist, you know, uh, hang on. That's all right. No problem. <laughs> hey, I want to share this with you before we run out of time. The first time mm -hmm. I ever heard you doing music and uh, I think it'll probably surprise you. It was before I even realized that you were in Bad Cop, Bad Cop. Um, oh. a, long, a long while back, probably a few years, uh, you posted on Facebook a cover of Ace of Spades. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I watched that and I was like, man, that's a really good cover of Ace of Spades. And it was just unique and cool. And your voice was like perfect. And I was just like, that's fucking rad. So I shared that. Thanks. And then I, just, I think through that realized like, oh, she's in backup, backup. And then it like all kind of made sense. But that was a, uh, that was a, cool, <laughs> that was my introduction to you, I think. Aw, thanks. That's a very proud moment. <laughs> oh, and speaking of, let me hear. Yeah. There he is. Ah, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Very inspiring. It's a painting guy. done uh, by our, our friend, um, Corey Pollock. Mm -hmm. Very good friend of mine and my fiance's. Actually, he went to um, school with him. That's cool. So, yeah. Well, that's just a little aside. I thought I wanted to make <laughs> It's cool. Um, Thank you. Yeah, so we've covered a lot of the, like, the themes that I was hoping we would get to in the, in the interview. Um, one 
opportunity I wanted to give you is like a chance to express gratitude to anyone specific that's kind of like helped you get to where you are at this point, because I know the journey from point A to point B, there's so <laughs> many things that happen in between. And is there anyone in particular who's like kind of giving you the confidence and the inspiration that you needed to, to reach this level or to continue doing what you do? Um, yeah, honestly, um, my partner, mm-hmm. my partner in life, um, his name is Bert. Um, without his unconditional support and love, like for what I do, what I, you know, the songs that we write, um, from, you know, even being at home and taking care of our home (laughs) on the road all the time. And he runs his own business. You know, he's in a rad band, by the way, check them out. They're called upper downer. Okay. Check them out. Um, you know, I don't think I could, get to where I am without him, you know, Mm -hmm. that's great. like, it's, you know, he's a, he's a, a really amazing partner. And, um, he proposed, I mean, come on, the guy proposed to me on April fool's day last year (laughs) (laughs) and he got me good. He got me so good. (laughs) Well, I think, you know, what you're saying, it's no, it's no small, feet to be supportive in any relationship but the uh challenges of touring the, the demands that you have for, yeah. for what you need you to know, do it's, it's not it's easy it, you know it's not easy to be with somebody that tour, that is gone yeah a lot you know yeah. and especially for the reputation that it carries like party and rage and blah 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 like you know it's it is sometimes fun and party, but it's a lot of work too, but you have to, you know, there are people that go through this stuff that can't handle it. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, you have to understand that this is, I mean, it's tough and he's been sticking it through. We've been together for freaking six years. Nice. That's You know, like Paul and uh, Myra, her husband, Paul, another guy. I met, I met Paul before. Yeah. He's a heavy metal you know? fan like, like me. So oh, yeah. We talked about metal. But, they, um, they've just been, they're, you know, they're the, un, they're like the unsung people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like nobody, everybody thinks that this life of touring is, has its glamour and blah, blah, mm-hmm. blah. And, oh, I'm going to quit my day job and blah, blah, blah. Um, it's, it's tough. And mm. it, you know, it's, unless you are you know pop star like you know star level Mm -hmm. it's it's a it's a grind and the people that are you know at home work still working their butts Mm -hmm. off Mm -hmm. and like you know taking care of the house and you know and also seeing like yes your your posts online are all happier like look at us we're in Prague or blah 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 and like that's gotta be really tough to see you know as much as you love and support your partner in doing this that is tough as hell to see I'm sure oh yeah you know that makes me want to give a shout out to uh Dana Templeman Cody's wife and uh I'm Mm -hmm. I'm good friends with Cody and he's kind of been my window into this lifestyle of like hard touring and yeah all the demands plus trying to make ends meet and Mm -hmm. have the usual comforts that I think everyone needs as human beings yeah like it's about communication honestly like you have to come to some sort of agreement of how things are going to work so it's easier on both of you during this period of time yeah you know and you just have to be okay with it you know Yeah. yeah you just have to want to do that because it makes your partner it makes the experience of sitting at home or working and working and taking care of the house while you're on tour. Yeah. It makes it less shitty for them. Yeah. Well, you gotta want to do that. You know, you gotta want to do that. Yeah. You know? And so of course I'm going to want to do that. So I make it a point to make arrangements and like, it may not be anybody else's method, but this is mine and my dudes and that's all that matters. Yeah. 
Well, that's awesome. And I think that's, uh, that would be inspiring for other people to hear too. Cause that's one thing yeah. that, you know, whenever, whenever someone has a passion mm -hmm. and you have a partner, there has to be some negotiations there because, you know, you, yeah. you want to get the most out of life, but you don't want to be too selfish or, you know, put undue stress on, on your partner. So. Right. There's exactly. Part to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's mm -hmm. great. Well then hails to Bert. Bert <laughs> special recognition. Yeah. Bert. You got um, some recognition, Betty. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Lynn, I want to just thank you again for doing this. Um, I think that this is plenty. Thank you for and, interviewing uh, me, Dustin. Yeah, and it's really cool that we finally you know, get to I know. interact. <laughs> and, uh, I, I do intend to stay in touch and share you know, everything, music and otherwise. Great. And uh, I wish you the best of luck and thank whatever's so next. Thank you so much. And Please I'm, send me a video of you like, playing a song about you know some uh problem order, solving order of operations and math or something oh my god order of <laughs> operations god i haven't heard that oh. term in forever oh right oh my god well cool well thank you again i really appreciate your time and um thank you i'm, I'm a, a big fan of you and the band and i will always be so thanks so much dustin yeah. we really appreciate it it's really nice to talk to you today awesome all, all right, right man have a good rest have of a great day, day. thanks okay. bye. All right, bye take care